So we do lots and lots of implants through the underarm, um, and patients will come in and say, well, I went to see another surgeon, and they said, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't fix them, you can't change them when they're done through the underarm. That's really not the case, and somebody who's experienced who does a lot of breast implants through the underarm, um, there's many, many things that can be done. Obviously, we can put implants in the first time. Um, even the big uh, silicone implants can now go into a little tiny incision using the Keller funnel. So we put a great big implant in a little tiny incision. But what can you fix? What can't you fix? Well, there's lots of things you can do through the underarm. If a patient comes in and says, I want to be bigger, I want to be smaller, changing an implant out through the underarm is very easy. Go right back to the same implant, take that implant out, put a new implant back in, minimal downtime, back to work in a couple of days. If an implant is sitting too high, that can be let down. If you have to say that you want to switch to silicone, all those things can be done through the underarm without any trouble. The only two things you have trouble doing through the underarm is if an implant ever drops too low and you need to raise it back up, that's difficult to do through the underarm because they don't make the instruments you need to be able to put sutures in here to hold the implant back up in that higher position. Unfortunately, you have to go back to the old-fashioned incision under the breast for that. The second thing is if you get a capsular contracture, if you get a capsular contracture, the body forms this really hard scar tissue around the implant and you have to go in and take all that scar tissue out, put a new implant back in and allow the body to form a new soft scar. Unfortunately, that can't be done to the underarm, but those are really the only two things that can't be done to the underarm. So there's a lot of naysayers about the underarm incision because they don't do it that way. They don't like uh, to have to work up on a television screen with all the high definition cameras. Very simple to do if you're experienced in it and you've done lots and lots of these. The changing the implants out, bigger, smaller, switching from saline to silicone, all those things can be done very, very easily for the underarm.